Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a subscriber request video. I got a request from uh, Austin and he is one of my patrons, so thank you very much. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how you can take uh, pictures with your camera and turn them into textures for use in 3D texturing. Okay, so here we go. Okay guys, well here we go. So this is a picture that I took outside and I want to use this as a texture. Now, I uh, screwed up this picture on purpose so I can show you how to fix this and prepare it uh, as a texture. So what's going on with this? Well, first of all, we have a few undesirables. For example, we got this shadow going on on the bottom corner right here. We got that leaf and we need to get those out of the picture. And also, more importantly, we see the angle of the picture is off. Okay. You want to have a perfect 180 degree angle towards the texture that you want to use. So perfectly from the top and not at an angle. So we need to fix that as well, right? So let's start by getting rid of that shadow and the leaf. We're going to go into the crop tool. And as we do that, we can now uh, take our left mouse, uh, our left button. We'll hold that down, not our left mouse. Okay. And we're going to drag that to the left until we are clear of that shadow and so forth. And when we're happy, we're going to hit enter. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is fix that angle right there. So how we do that is we go up to, and I believe it's under edit. Yep. Perspective warp. And we're going to left click on the top left corner like so. And when we do that, this grid shows up and then we're going to click on each individual corner and drop that on a corner. like so and like so okay now once we're happy with that what we're going to do is we're going to find vertical lines and we're going to match these points up with those vertical lines okay so i'm going to move that one right here and then i'm going to move that one so it's perfectly aligned with that line in the image and then we'll do the same here. We can't use this one. We need to move one over. So we're going to move it up here. And then we're going to move this one in right here like that. And once we hit enter, look what happens. It's calculating that it, um, the grid is now gone. So now if we move these corners back to the corner of our image, and let's be careful about that. And we'll do the same here. And here. And I hit enter and hang on. There you go. You have a perfect picture from the top view. Now we have a little issue down here because I wasn't precise enough. So you got that little line going on. So we're going to go in and we're going to take the uh, spot healing tool and we'll just fix that. And I'll just hit control plus to move in a little bit so I can see it better. So we're just gonna go in and and don't try to do the entire section in one go because that won't look good. You can cut it off as well if you like. Depending on your preference. Okay. Yep, there you go. There we go. And then we're going to go back in. All right. So we're going to hit control minus to zoom out again. Now let's uh, color correct this a little bit. So we're going to go in to um, image adjustments and levels. Let's take our white color picker and find something in the picture that is close to white as possible, which would be this guy right here. Then we're going to do the one on the left to pick our black color. Let's take that little spot right there. And then we're going to take the middle one to select a gray color. And we got gray color everywhere, right? So let's do this one right there. Now I'm happy with this. Uh, if you want to tweak it some more, you can go to image adjustments and you can go to hue and saturation. You can, for example, bump up that color if you like. But you know, that's personal preference, all right? So this is how you turn a, um, a picture that's off 
into something that you can use as a texture, all right? And uh, if you want to um, check out how to make a seamless texture, then uh, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.